Now welcome Kansas State head coach Jeff Mitty as well as student athletes Gabby Gregory and Aoka Lee. For those seeking additional interviews for the Wildcats, their locker room isn't open at this time. We will begin the press conference with an opening statement from Coach Mitty, followed by questions for the student athletes. After those questions have been asked, we will dismiss the student athletes and then take questions for Coach. Coach Mitty, your opening statement. Well, disappointing to lose this one. Um, yeah, we just, uh, I think it's, it's disappointing to lose when you don't play very well and you don't feel like that uh, you did things as well as you could have. And there's always regret that comes with that. You feel like you could have, should have done this. And, and But at the end of the day, the game presents its challenges, and there were moments that we didn't handle those things very well. And I thought our defense was good enough to win this game. We held them to 35% shooting, but ultimately turnovers were a big problem for us. Um, we did not get to the free throw line enough to, to, to balance that out where we get some points there. And uh, we weren't shooting the ball well enough. It was really hard for us to put together consistent possessions. And um, ultimately, that's what it ends up getting us. I thought defensively in the fourth, we made some really tough stops. I thought we really dug in deep. I thought our effort was outstanding, but we just couldn't convert enough at the offensive end to, to put enough pressure on them. So credit goes to Colorado. They, um, they did a lot of things really, I think, solid. Um, I thought they gave us uh, problems uh, all day long. They were active on our guards, and they were uh, active on uh, Yoki in there. So uh, credit goes to them. And um, it's been a heck of a year. So, uh, but when you end it this way, there's, there's, uh, this one's going to sting for a while. Thank you, Coach. Questions for the student athletes. We'll start here in the front row. <clears throat> Uh, Yoki, is this one of the more physical games that you've been a part of in your career at K-State? Um, no. I mean, you play in the Big 12, there's a lot of physical games. Um, it was physical. Um, like Coach Mini said, they did a great job on defense, but no, this was not the most physical game I've been a part of. Third row in the middle. Yeah, another question for Aoka. Um, it seemed like they really sold out try to keep the ball away from you down there in the post. What did they do specifically to make it hard on you down there? Yeah, I think like Coach Winnie said, they're just active. Any further questions? We'll go uh, second row in the middle. Uh, <clears throat> Gabby, whenever the intentional foul happened, did you notice kind of a, a shift happened just in, in energy with, with, with you guys? Um, I guess slightly, um, not enough. Front row middle. Uh, for you, Gabby, I know that obviously this is a really hard time, but as you take some time to kind of reflect on what K-State has meant to you, um, just where, where are your emotions at with that and, and where you are right now? Obviously, this really sucks. Um, wasn't expecting to be done so early. Um, but, I mean, I think right now I'm just so upset that we're not moving on. Um, but, like, the magnitude of my basketball career being over in college, it really hasn't, I don't know, hit me yet. Um, but I'm just, I'm so thankful for Coach Mitty for allowing me to come here. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better experience the last two years. Um, and I just, I mean, I just love this school. I love K-State. Thanks, Gene and Jill. I mean, <laughs> I've just had a blast, and I've just absolutely loved my t time here. <laughs> and I wish I could stay longer. Front row, right side. And Gabby, you 
advocated for more than anybody to have a sold out crowd and maybe that does culminate in the, all the hard work you guys put in this year but what was your reaction to actually seeing the sold out crowd and hearing it yeah i mean it was pretty awesome and i mean if that's my last game in bramlage then that's a pretty good crowd to go out on so i mean i'm just really thankful to the fans everyone has been amazing and so supportive of us this year and I really think that we've grown the game of women's basketball in Manhattan Kansas and I just can't wait to see the support that they continue to get next year any other questions for the student athletes oh all right thank you ladies congratulations on your season We'll now open it up to co for questions to Coach Mitty. Go second row here in the middle. Jeff, just just what what were the refs telling you on on that on that flagrant, and what did you see? Yeah, I mean, I, we saw the elbow come up on the drive, so I, I don't think that one was. Um, I mean, I didn't get a great look at it. They don't let me near the TV, but I could see we saw it live. So they just said the elbow came up by rule, contact above the shoulder. Or it turns into a two-shot penalty and the ball out of bounds. When, when they open the fourth quarter, they go scoreless for the first six minutes and you guys are only able to get, get four points up, how, how frustrating is that? And then... And, what we'll kind of your reaction to how that went down? Well, that was the problem all day is that um, I thought our group dug in hard defensively. I thought they were doing some really good things, but we couldn't take care of the ball well enough at the other end and make good decisions. And obviously you're going to not shoot the ball well at times, but um, we just couldn't consistently have any flow offensively. And... There was an opportunity there because we did do such a good job defensively in that stretch to make a much bigger run than the four points. But um, that's why we'll look back at this and go, we, the things that we controlled, we didn't do as well as we needed to. Front row middle. Coach, as far as the guard position goes, it seemed like Colorado did a really good job on blocking the entry passes to Yoki and forcing you guys to turn the ball over. Um, how do you go about trying to find a balance of guarding on the defensive end and then maybe uh, finding another way on the offense to provide a spark? Yeah, you know, that was probably where I struggled the most with. We couldn't, uh, we couldn't spread them out and get enough ball movement, and we couldn't go to a lot of things that we go to with Lee and have success. Our post entries weren't good enough. Their centers were really active, sliding around, attacking the ball in the air. Um, I think Von Ley is um, one of the stronger players in the country, but she combines athleticism that you don't always see. So um, she challenges post-entry well. And um, today, if, if you threw a pass a little bit to the inside, Von Ley was good enough to go get it. And... Um, yeah, it was impressive to watch. She's strong. She's tough. It was a physical game, um, but uh, they, they, they really they made some really good plays. Third row on the right. <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to go back to the intentional foul for, for just a moment. Um, the, the officials didn't call it uh, originally. The, the player came over. I think the official was standing next to you. She came over and alerted. Does that happen often where somebody, a coach or a player, can draw an attention to that play? And... You can draw attention to a play above. The, the, the interesting thing about that, and I don't want to get into that, but Gregory had gotten hit in the face the play before. Now, it wasn't intentional, but neither was Serena's, right? None of them are intentional. Very few are intentional. If they're intentional, you're kicked out of the game. <laughs> so, anyways, um, that that really... Look, we came out of that. We were ready to go. We just didn't control the ball well enough. We were ready to go. We came out of that. I told them in the huddle, I don't care which way this call goes. I go, we're going to come out of here and fight, and we did. 
we just couldn't pass it to our jersey enough. And, and ultimately, that's going to be hard because you look at um, the stat sheet and you go, well, they got 16 fast break points. We only got two. Um, I bet the points off turnovers are all fast break. So we've got we've to do a better job there. So that, that call was, uh, I think, fairly easy once they went to the monitor and saw that it was up above. So Third row middle. Sometimes I am amazed at what they don't see on the first time, though. Uh, Jeff, I saw you make a point to hug Gabby, Aoka, Serena as they come out the game. Um, you know, what, what was that like, I guess, knowing you coached that group for the final time? Yeah, we, you know, we don't know on Lee, and I think Lee will make a decision here down the road here in, in the week because she does have the ability to come back if she chooses, but I'm not sure where that's going to be. Um, I think just my hug for both of them was just an appreciation of what they've done all year. I just, um, I've been, I love this team. Not every day, but most every day. And I love them as people every day. Um, they have been really steady leaders of our basketball team and they're great competitors. So I felt like when the game was finished that they deserved the, the fans deserved to show their appreciation and they deserved to hear it. And so I just wanted to give them a hug and tell them thanks. Second row middle. Jeff, in the area, era of the transfer portal, one of the criticisms is that, that players can be more anonymous jumping from school to school. Gabby has been maybe the exact opposite of that and only being here for, for two years. What, what is kind of her, the impact that she's left on, on this program? You know, I think Gabby's personality allows people to draw to her and, and people can see how hard she plays on the floor and people can see the passion that she plays with and she's not afraid to to vocalize that. You know, she's not afraid to tell the fans we need a sellout. She's not afraid to, to get out there and, and uh, show people her personality and show people how much she loves to play basketball. And I think just in general in life, people are drawn to people like that. People are drawn to, to, to people that have fun. People are drawn to people that compete at the highest level. And uh, I think, you know, players like Gabby can have an impact regardless of how long you're at a program because they're just those kind of people. And we could see it from the – we could see it when she, she first walked in here. She loved to compete, loved to play, loved to practice – all those things. So um, it's not surprising what, what she's done. All right, Coach. Thank you. Congrats on the All season. right, guys. Thank you.